Salve galera, tiozão japa na área, mais um jogo comentado. O título de hoje é Candle The Power of Flame. Antes de mais nada, se você não é inscrito no canal, inscreva-se. Ative o sininho para receber as notificações, pois todo dia vai ter uma novidade por aqui. Aproveite e deixe seu like e compartilhe com os amigos, que vai ajudarem muito na divulgação do canal. Valeu mesmo, hein? Candle The Power of Flame, ou Vela, o Poder da Chama. É a tradução do título. É uma aventura misturada com um puzzle quebra-cabeças em um mundo aberto de plataforma com visão lateral 2,5D. Você é Teco. Com a chama em mãos, você consegue acessar lugares escuros e chegar na surdina de modo furtivo para empurrar os inimigos em asco abaixo. Há checkpoints de salvamento do jogo, mas durante o jogo, se você morre, volta na mesma tela que morreu. E não há o contrário de outros jogos que te faz voltar no checkpoint. Vou ler a sinopse para vocês. Candle é uma aventura com quebra-cabeças divertidos. Jogue como Teco, um jovem novato em uma perigosa jornada para resgatar o xamã de sua aldeia das garras de uma tribo maligna, os Waka. Mas o caminho está coberto de armadilhas e obstáculos complexos. Para dominar esses desafios, você precisa ter olhos argutos e um bom senso quanto aos seus arredores, ou o próximo passo poderá ser o seu último. Fim da sinopse. O jogo está traduzido para o português brasileiro. Para variar, mais um jogo comprado com desconto por R$ 20,98. Porém, infelizmente, vale somente até o dia 19 de junho de 2021. Hoje o jogo está custando R$ 104,90 na loja da PSN. O jogo foi distribuído pela Merge Games. Censura 10 anos é para apenas um jogador offline. Foi lançado em, junho, em julho de 2018 e está classificado como ação, mas eu acrescentarei a puzzle ou quebra-cabeças. Tiozão já paga dessa sua visita aqui no canal. Até o próximo vídeo, galera. The gods contemplated all of this with satisfaction. But then, something happened. These creatures, who had come so far, were invaded by ambition and greed. All the knowledge accumulated over centuries, all the advances, now being used by some to dominate others. That's when the violence started. Wars broke out, like a great storm devastating everything in its path. Everything that these beings had achieved evaporated. The gods were furious. A great firestorm raised the earth and burned down its forests. The water that emanated from the mountains evaporated, the peoples were condemned, and all intelligent creatures vanished in the flames. Then the gods decided to try again. As the teachings of his master flooded his mind, Teku opened his eyes. In front of him he saw all the stars in the firmament. Suddenly he heard a fire crackling nearby. The last thing he remembered were the voices of alarm. His home was being attacked. Then he staggered to his feet. There was no time to lose.
people couldn't go on. It was too dark. Oh no! That poor man told Teku what happened. The tribe of the Wakcha had attacked the village and captured prisoners. One of them was Yaka, the tribe's shaman. He had to do something. Toluca! <sighs> Before going into the forest, Teku looked back one last time. His village, once full of life, was now an immense flame that reared up against the darkness of the night sky. The few survivors left waved goodbye to Teku in a small gesture. The tears streamed down their masks as they thought about all that had been lost. But there was no time to lose. He was determined to find Yaka and the rest of his men. After all, a light guide must never abandon its shaman, no matter what. After three hours of crossing the forest, as he followed the trail of the Wakchas, the first rays of sun started to filter through the branches of the trees. When he emerged from the thicket, Teku stopped at the foot of a cliff. The captor's trail ended there. There was a large marsh down below, and a few bonfires dotted the landscape. It could be them. Teku leaned out over the abyss, trying to figure out the best way of getting down, without realizing that the ground he was walking on was giving way under his feet. 
his adventure was about to begin. Wake up, Teku. Come on. A large symbol painted in green was hidden behind the enormous rock. He didn't know its meaning, but he had the feeling it was something important.
Teku immediately recognized the man who was asking for help. It was one of the bodyguards of Yaka, his tribe shaman. He had to help him, but how could he get to him? He had heard stories about those platforms. The ancients used them to travel rapidly to distant places. But to use it, he needed his candle to be burning. Oh, my God.